Welcome. In this video, we are going to be discussing how to use Moto to test uh, AWS Boto 3 code uh, without having to test it around uh, production environments. So to start out, this is our code. Uh, so we have a buckets exist function. Um, it is utilizing a Boto 3 session as one of the parameters um, and then also the name of the bucket as a string and it will return a Boolean value. So we start with instantiating a S3 client. It lists the buckets, and then it's using a list comprehension to return a list of the bucket names from the response. Um, and then it will return uh, if the name is in the buckets, and that will just return that Boolean value for us. So to test this, we are using um, Boto3, Moto, and PyTest. Uh, we are also importing our function and we are defining two constants. So we have existing bucket. This is just a string. Um, this way we don't have to type it and we don't mistype it, uh, as well as a region, which is just US West 2. The next thing we do is we instantiate a PyTest fixture. Uh, we're setting this to the scope of session, so we only run this once. Um, but we are calling our fixture mock session, and this is going to return a Boto 3 session. So we're using a connection manager here, or context manager, uh, to utilize the Moto3 mock, uh, mock S3 um, function. And this is going to allow us to basically stand up. It'll handle all the calls uh, that are made to Boto3. Um, so we're just saying, hey, we need a Boto3 session. Uh, we're passing in fake key, fake secret, and region, and setting that as our session. Um, we're also then uh, saying, hey, our bucket name is going to be existing bucket. Our config is uh, the only, we have to pass a little bit of a config in um, to create the bucket, which is going to be this loca uh, location constraint, which is set to the uh, region, which is that US West 2. Then we have uh, our S3 client instantiation, and then we're creating our bucket. Um, and see we're passing in the bucket name and the config um, and then we're yielding the session so this is all the setup that we're going to do before our tests so this is going to emulate an existing already uh, existing configuration in aws uh, so then we have two tests we have um, our test bucket doesn't exist uh, and we're passing in that mock session fixture that we instantiated up here and we're just asserting that the bucket does not exist. So we're passing in the name does not exist or doesn't exist. Uh, we're passing in our session and we're asserting that it's not going to be true. Um, and then if we, uh, then we also have a test bucket exists and this is going to do the same thing, um, but we're asserting that it will exist and we're passing in that name existing bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my terminal and I'm going to do a poetry run I test tests, which is going to run. It should load the, this code and it will run. See that it loaded and two tests have passed. And as you note, there is, this is not going to be a real access key ID and it's going to be a fake secret. Um, so this is all running against Moto and it will not make any calls into the uh, AWS infrastructure. So this is a great way to test your code and make sure that it works. Um, it does require some forethought uh, for testing um, existing configuration uh, because you do have to set this up and fixtures are a great way to do that because you can define that before you define, uh, you can define that as a fixture and it will run before any of your functions and you will know exactly, hey, this is how my environment should look to my code. I hope you guys found this helpful and I will catch you guys later.